program underway today, I have a man that is most popular. He is here with us today, the North American champion, the Colorado kid. You know, Colorado, before we get started here, I've, I've got to bring something up that I, it's, it's on my mind, it's on the wrestling fan's mind. Al Snow and his head, or whatever that is that's in his hand, he calls it his head, has, has been talking about you and has been saying your name keeps popping up in the conversation. What is, what's, what's this all about? Well, I don't know what him and his head think that my name's going to be popping up in any conversation about. I tell you what, I don't even know this guy, but you know I hear that he does walk around and talks to this dummy's head. Well, I tell you what, Al Snow, you bring that dummy's head down here, I'll give you a flat top, and we'll find some place to put it. Well, before you get in the ring, I also have to, to bring up the fact that Jim Cornette from the WWF, he's promised to come down to MCW and stir some things up, and I know for a fact he's after that gold belt. Well, I tell you what, you know, when you're at the top of the line, when you're on the top of the totem pole, everybody's taking a shot at you. You got like a great big target here on the back, and I tell you, everybody's going to come from all over the world to rock the Colorado kid and try to get my North American heavyweight belt. I've wrestled 20 guys in this ring and I'm standing here still today and I'll be standing here when these guys come and go. I'll be around for a long time. A true champion, the Colorado Kid, you got action right now. Good luck to you. Ready for action here in our first match, MCW Wrestling. I'm Michael St. John and joining me at ringside today for the commentary of the matches is a man that's well known in the circles of the internet. He is a man that hails from North Carolina and is an internet journalist and has become one of the most proficient journalists in the world of professional wrestling. And I'd like to introduce you to Alan Getz. Alan, it's good to have you with us today. It's great to be here, Mike. I'm looking forward to my first taste of Music City Wrestling action. I've heard a lot of great stuff, seen a lot of great stuff, and it's a pleasure to be here next to you calling the action. Well, right now, you're getting a taste of the best that MCW has to, uh, to offer in that uh, the Colorado Kid is the North American champion. He has held the belt for some period of time, and he has gotten a lot of attention. I know you have seen it firsthand on the internet of how people are talking about this young athlete. He is quite a wrestler. That's right, Colorado Kid, definitely one of the up-and-comers in professional wrestling. And here in Music City Wrestling, he rules the roost, although I hear that that might come to a, a halt when Al Snow and his head come to Music City. Alan, I gotta, I, I've been in the wrestling world for a while now, and i got to ask, where did that come from? That it has to be the oddest scenario I have ever seen in the world of professional wrestling, this guy talking to this mannequin's head. Well, I don't know where it came from, but I do know he's coming. And from what I understand recently, Mr. Jim Cornette has been saying that he's going to be having some influence on Music City Wrestling in the future, seeing as how Al Snow has been appearing in the WWF lately. Perhaps the two are related. And if that's the case, Colorado Kid has to watch out. Well, Al Snow, without a doubt, has to be one of the best technicians in the world of professional wrestling that I have ever seen in the ring. And I must say that the Colorado Kid and all of his... Uh, his victories here in MCW has taken on the best and has really shined, if you would, in the limelight of MCW. And now it looks like the competition is even going to get more and more fierce. He's in action right now. Nice drop kick on Notorious D.O.G. This is a tough customer in there with Colorado Kid right now. Definitely the 271 pounder from Atlanta, Georgia, the Notorious D.O.G. And that's the thing about this Colorado Kid. He takes on all comers. It doesn't matter how big they are, how fast they are, how strong they are, how mean they are or even how ugly they are the Colorado kid has been a fighting champion very early in the kid's career he had the opportunity to meet the uh, the uh, unified world heavyweight champion Jerry Lawler and actually defeated Jerry it was quite an upset in the world of professional wrestling and that sort of spurned him on it sort of was a springboard for the Colorado kid to go to bigger and better things and greater heights and now as the MCW North American champion he has attracted quite a bit of attention on the worldwide level that's right. It wasn't too long ago that Colorado Kid was the one looking ahead, looking to Jerry Lawler in that unified title. And now that he's achieved that success, he finds himself on the other on the other side of things. And now everyone's gunning for him, including the notorious D.O.G. right here. Well, D.O.G. countering with that left, that short crop left hand. Now looks like maybe did he have something in his hand? Referee Gene Johnson checking. This match one fall, 15 minute time limit to start things off. And notorious D.O.G. Looks like he's got something that he's going after Colorado Kid with, and whatever it was, I think just hit the floor. I, I didn't see anything, Michael. I didn't see it. You, you didn't see that he was putting something in his... Nope. 
I saw him use some uh, fine European uppercuts, some good technical wrestling. Right here, he's kicking the Colorado kid, and I think he's gotten the advantage fair and square. And most assuredly, with the advantage right now, the go-behind now, it's going to chicken wing that arm and bring it over. The Colorado kid, worst to wear in the match as we speak, notorious DOG. You know, it's it's something else I wanted to bring up in this match, uh, Alan, is that you're very aware of, of MCW's Georgia connection, and quite a few of the athletes from MCW Georgia are now making a frequent appearances in Nashville, Tennessee, the home, if you would, or the home base of MCW, just like notorious DOG here today. That's right, as MCW grows and expands its boundaries, more and more wrestlers are falling under the MCW umbrella. And the notorious DOG from Atlanta, Georgia is one of those, and he's come into uh, the Colorado Kids' home base um, now that he is the MCW North American champion and is taking him on. And we look to see more of the stars from MCW Georgia getting on with the stars here in the Nashville, Tennessee area. One thing about it, Alan, MCW has grown very quickly from its inception of a little over a year ago. It is the fastest growing wrestling association, not only in America, but the world. It has attracted quite a bit of attention. It was also one of the first organizations to recognize the rebirth, if you would, of the NWA. And the NWA, of course, a mastermind by Jim Cornette. And Jim Cornette has made statements on television and has made statements in the media that he is going to take over MCW, that he is going to be a quote unquote presence in MCW in the future. Well, that's right. James E. Cornette was at one time the guiding force behind the NWA, in my opinion, back in the late 1980s. And now that the NWA has come back into national prominence, largely in part due to Mr. Cornette, he feels he's going to take matters into his own hands and perhaps be even more actively involved in the day-to-day -day operations of NWA and the NWA members, of which Music City Wrestling is one. Colorado Kid going in after Notorious D.O.G. He caught him with that foot and is now putting a couple of elbows to the head. Notorious D.O.G. has had things going his way quite a bit in this match. We could see an upset. It's entirely possible, but now the Notorious D.O.G. charges in, and there's a big elbow from the Colorado Kid, and Colorado Kid is heading up to the top rope. Boy, he is good when he comes off that top rope. Here at the Expo Center, he's going to fly high. Whoa, look at this. Sunset flip, one, two, three, victory for the end of, uh, for the North American heavyweight champion. I almost said NWA champion. Maybe that's in the future for this young man, the Colorado kid.